How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome back to another episode of the Waking the Tiger Nationalist China campaign in, uh, I was gonna say European Universalis 4, this is definitely not that, this is Hearts of Iron 4. We are going to go ahead and get started here, uh, going on speed 5, no reason not to right now. We have troops that are actually about to pop out in a little bit, not too long at all. Uh, there, a good chunk of them just popped out. What we probably need to do is actually like split our army into two or three at some point. Uh, it actually is going to have 50 troops, I believe, so 25 each is kind of a bad number because 24 is the amount they can effectively hold, but um, that's okay. We got nationalism done just now, which gave us uh, a good bit of more stability. 50 stability is the median point, it does seem. There's no bonus to political power, but no malice, and no bonus to other stuff, no nothing, you know? So, um, we do need to figure out what we want to do here. I have sort of been thinking about it, and... Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that, like, they, I'm really curious to see how the inflation thing is going to happen. Jeez. <laughs> inflation seems brutal. <laughs> um, we need to either focus on, like, doing this line and getting to the subjugate the warlords thing. Um, or, on the other hand, going for the democracy a little bit getting the daily political power gain i think would be really nice i think here's our line i think we go democracy executive yuan uh really for the main reason that that gives us a d daily political power gain and it'll really add up over time so do those two 70 days each not too long uh 140 days total then you focus on this one and then get to army reforms that those four then you do this one then you do this one i think that's our i think that's our Thing. I wish you could actually queue those up. Pretty sure you can't, but uh, I wish you could actually. That's one thing I wish you could do is queue those things up a little bit more. Oh, uh, we do also have artillery now. Now that we have sort of gotten our uh, line of or our yeah our defensive line on the coast sort of fleshed out, I think we cut back a little bit, not a bunch, but a little bit on this, and we start producing artillery. It's actually quite important. Um, why don't we take two cavalry and add them to this line? I want to do that. Uh, and then I want to take you guys, all the rest of these guys, and add them to this. 48, that's what I was hoping to see. 48 total. I want to take you and split you directly in half. And do a new army. This army will come down to here, uh, B to turn on that. I don't actually, actually I want to just delete all your orders, delete all orders. Uh, and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a northern and a southern defensive line. So basically Nanjing up will be northern, Nanjing south will be southern, you know. Pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward I think. Uh, I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Hey, we got construction one. That is pretty nice. It's almost 37. Uh, I'm not gonna actually worry about that right now though. Uh, so normally I go end up going light and then medium tanks, and that's sort of probably that's that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do in this one as well. But support units could be good to go with first. Getting a better rifle is actually what we need to do definitely. Um, I want to try to do a army group. So, we have our army group here. This is what I'm really interested in seeing. How does this work? We have a chain of command now. This is going to be interesting. So, I have, within this army group... There you go. So now you're having both of these. You need to be in a different army group. Okay, that's kind of, that's good. So I like how it does delineate them. Oh, you can see that just like a little colorful box there that actually has the color behind it. Okay, so you, I want you to take the, this general. Like put this guy in charge, oh wow. You guys are new. Oh, field marshal. Oh, I see. So they're 
Oh, there are already field marshals that we have. I didn't realize that. We already have field marshals. Planning speed, division recovery rate. Cancel your experience factor. Max entrenchment. This guy actually seems good, because entrenchment is what we really need for defense. We also can get a new trait for him, apparently. Like, we have an extra trait slot. Hmm. Defensive Doctrine. I'm very curious about how this is going to go. Alright, cool. So we have upgraded this guy. I mean, that's good. I think it's good to have him upgrade. He's the defensive coordinator for our whole country, so that's... It's pretty important. Um, meanwhile, we should have... We should have generals here. I think we'll put, like... Well, but we don't have a ton of generals, but... Still. Let's put, like, you in charge there of the north, because that's probably more likely to come under attack. And you here. These two guys are going to be for, like, the attacks and stuff. Um... So yeah, and then we put garrisons, uh, and again, we want mostly just the coast. Only the coast, really. Um, 26 there. Okay. And then I want you... There you go. 26 there. But that's overlapping in Nanjing, so they should take care of that automatically. We'll see. Hopefully they do that. Um, why... I want a new theater with you guys in it. Okay, I kind of see, see how it's broken up. Okay. Chinese theater. This will be a uh, coastal theater, we'll say. It's actually going to be low. No, we'll just keep a medium priority for now. Um, this will be like the Northern Theater, I guess. We can always change the names later. No big deal. That's high priority. Okay, you do have. I did give you a army thing as well. Uh, this is the one. This is even more important, honestly, than the other one. Um. So you're actually just the war hero. Promotion cost, planning speed, chance to get wounded in combat. Ah, uh, huh. I think you're still good, actually. We can assign a new trait for you. This is so cool how they've added so many things. That's awesome. Like, it makes it so much better if you, like, you can, like, dial in your generals and actually add them to specific places so that their specific bonuses get developed more and that they use those bonuses. That's so cool. I like it. I really like this part so far. So far, I'm going to say we do, like, division recovery rate. Yeah. You do also have too many troops. Can we fix that? By promoting you. I'm curious if that's actually what promoting does. I don't even know what it does. Uh, hey, we can also modify our governments. We should do this. I think we should. I mean, I really do want to do this, but we can't do that. In fact, what would it take to do like limited exports? Current ruling party is democratic. All of them must be current, but not democratic. Partial mobilization. Okay, so. Oh, we have to get rid of the nine power tree anyways. Darn it. That's why. That's one reason why. Got it. That makes sense, though. I think we should do Sung Mei Ling. She's pretty good. And then again, we could also do, like, other stuff. Well, let's see. Are there any other ones that we want to do? I don't really care about compassionate gentlemen at all. Democratic reformer. Don't care about right now. Don't care about you. Yeah, I don't care about you at all, really. 
Uh, Lin Sen. That's actually interesting though, that they add non-core manpower now. Lin Sen, the popular figurehead, seems all right. Backroom backstabber, political power again, ideology, drift defense. Seems fine. Consumer goods factories seems a little too focused for me right now. I don't think I really care about that. Uh, basically, like backroom backs backstabber. This one, I don't know. Hmm. Like, if anything, I'd probably do like Lin Sen and Sung Mei Ling or Chen Guofu. Um, political power gain would help us again in the future, so. Alright, well, let's do this. Let's do this. Hmm. good okay yeah, right now we're just kind of waiting for research and focuses army experience yet, but we will add support artillery. Support artillery is, like, crucial, honestly. It's, like, the most important thing you could probably ever add to your armies. So, that'll be good. Until then, I think it would be probably a decent idea to have units training. Maybe, like, six. It doesn't have to be a ton. Just need a little bit have them pop out in Nanjing. What was that? I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> so, the army groups can have five generals, it seems, underneath them. That's interesting. Okay. I really like that they have done it that way. That seems like a pretty good way to do it. Hmm. There are some gaps in our defense, but not a ton. I wish they did it smarter so that it wasn't overlapping and instead it was like they covered the other splotches, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, democracy has been completed. So... We got 120 points for that. I do think we do this now. Executive Yuan. I don't think we really need more <laughs> more manpower right now, you know? Like, we already have a lot. That's not really our problem. It'd be better to do like a, a theorist or something. Um, maybe one of these dudes would be good. But we can't do that yet, really. Except with this one. Yeah. What about a chief of army? Defense is probably going to be what we go for. Not a whole lot we can change. There are decisions we could do. So we could temporarily boost our stability. We could do support for unaligned, but I don't think we really care to do that. Yeah, I'm not really... I don't think that I'm really super interested in any of that. I think for now, it'd be better to do something like this. Political power game. Or popular figurehead. And I think popular figurehead is actually more beneficial for us right now. It'll give us a boost to a lot of stuff. Factory output, dockyard output. That's really good. Hmm. Only 6% world tension right now. We're about to enter the new year. Once we hit uh, 10 experience, then I'm going to stop uh, exercising probably. Well, no, I might continue because I think their experience level will go down when we add support artillery, right? No, no, it won't. Only when you like change major actual components, I think it does that. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We will find out. 
I think we should also do this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, like something like that. Uh, hold on, how do I do this? Oh, interesting. That's how you do that now. Um... I don't know, like, it seems kind of... 1.8 years? That's annoying. Uh... It's already started progress. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it then. Only have 30 factories, jeez. Any more civilian factories? ASAP. Not a whole lot we can even do right now, though. I don't even know if we need the executive power as much as I'm getting it. Um, what is a, so what does War Sport actually give us right now? Mobilization speed, division of Thailand, core territory. Okay, interesting. Because that could be do, good to do. Um, for 90 days, we get some War Sport down. It would boost. It's a basically a short boost to stability. This as well would do. This would do the same thing. That's actually something I'd probably rather do to get our stability up. Let's let's do it. I think we have a lot of we have a lot of power right now. A lot of extra political power, uh, or we're going to have soon probably. Um, so, let's do that. Oh, hey, hey, research. <laughs> it stores it, but still. Um, I'm not, I don't care about motorized right now. I don't care about specialization. We just need to get, like, our main basics down before we really focus on other stuff. It is 37 now. Get our industry going. Super important. Um, yeah, infantry equipment, we're going to need a lot more of the other stuff, the support equipment and the artillery, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, for right now, we're just sort of waiting for stuff to happen. That's why we're speeding along at speed five. We're going to get executive yuan uh, soon. And we're going to do Military Affairs Commission and get Army Reforms soon. Then we'll probably, it would be pretty good to focus on, you know, uh, our industry a little bit, I think. Because <laughs> right now we don't have a lot of industry. We'll see about that, though. We'll see. Okay. Yep, Executive Yuan and the Type 24 on the same day. Nice. Hmm, so with that being said, we have that. Engineer companies are good. Military police are actually quite good. Could be good to do our doctrine. Reinforce rate is pretty darn good. I have a bonus for that. Not sure why. Doop. Do that. Yeah. Industry's pretty important. Outdated equipment. Uh, yeah. Start doing that. Okay. And meanwhile, <clears throat> what are we going to do with this? I do think that it would be good to do this at some point soon as well. But the army reform seems pretty important. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back on my word a little bit. I'm gonna do this so we can get more civilian factories working. Really? Once that division finishes, then we'll get this set up. Probably add a uh, probably have a new army that we set up on a different border. I think I'm gonna also stop you guys from exercising. Okay. 
Yeah. Let's stop that for now. Well, we've gotten a lot of experience, though, so that's good. Okay, you guys come over here. This will be a new army. Uh, not sure where we want to add them. We'll even wait a second to wait a little longer. Oh, hey, get these guys prioritized. If I think we should do this, and that way we can... Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Activate a plan. You don't have a plan. <laughs> you don't have a plan, do you? It's probably just looking at the front line itself. Hmm. So Minkukuo is a puppet of Japan, and so is Manchukuo. Those are going to be our main people that we're going to be fighting early on. Um, we just kind of need to have to hold the line against them, to be honest. But uh, we should pay attention to when they're when they're going to be doing, you know, whatever they're going to do. Create their what is this? Greater East Asian Co, -co Prosperity Sphere. Set the rule. Can create faction. Create faction Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Fear. What in the world? Is that historical? Oh, they're going here. Marco Polo Bridge incident. Oh, yeah. Secure China. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Well, so they're definitely heading towards us. Okay, here we have a new wing. It's fine. It doesn't matter where they are right now. Tell you what, I do need to end this episode here, though. The last two episodes have gone way over on time. So, thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It really does help the channel out a bunch. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode when we continue on driving towards wartime. So, yeah, see you then. Bye-bye.